Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Luchi Cruz Valdez. Uh, with all due respect po sa inyo, Mr. VP, the COMELEC has ruled and we would like to abide by the rules of the COMELEC that there will be no notes allowed during this debate. Mawala. FYI, mga kapatid, for your information. Maraming kakaibang obserbasyon ng aming kapatid. Change is always within our reach. We're just going to have to try and try and try again. Oh, you ask, I answer. Yeah, and uh, I really only have one question, Mom. Okay. How do you organize your time? How do I organize my time? Yeah, actually, first of all, why don't we contextualize it a little more? Uh, introduce yourself and a little bit of background history and who exactly you are. Okay, I'm Luchi Cruz Valdez. I'm a journalist and I mm -hmm. run a news organization in the Philippines called News 5. And before that? Well, before that, I was also a journalist for ABS-CBN and Jerry News and the highly acclaimed Probe Team, the first investigative news magazine after the revolution of 1986. Yeah, I've had 36 years of journalism behind me. And, uh, so uh, I'm used to disorganized. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of all the accolades, you were our mom. Yes, but the accolades, they're nice, but uh, they're not really that important. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, that's, well, that's a different story for another time. But, yeah, going back to my previous question, now that we know, or at least we have a better picture of just how busy you really are, how do you organize your time in all this? Being a full time mom and being uh, a Almost like, yeah, pretty much a celebrity news anchor and running a newsroom. Well, as a journalist, I am very used to surprises. We know that uh, no news day, no two news days are the same. We know that uh, even the news day that we think to be light can turn out to be the heaviest news day of the week or the month or even the year. So. So there's only so much organizing that we can do. It's more like really efficiency. But uh, considering that I'm also a mother, there are three P's that I use to guide me. The first P is, of course, prioritize. Uh, I have to define what things are most important to me. Family is most important to me. I keep my weekend sacred. I uh, have to go to uh, events that my children and my husband, when he was alive, uh, required of me to attend. Uh, I uh, basically do my bit in providing for all the family's needs. And so that's important. Work is also important. Uh, as head of a news organization, I have to know what people need. I have to anticipate uh, what might happen as best I can, even if there's really so much that you can really predict. So there, priorities. So first, prioritize. Second, you have to prepare. Prepare what you need to do for the day. Uh, cut out all the things that are not necessary and focus on what you could do for the day. So for example, if I know that I'm going to be covering uh, an event or interviewing somebody for the day, I prepare way in advance, not the day before, not two days before, but as soon as the assignment is given to me. I uh, use up whatever time I can, although it's hard for me to multitask. It helps that, well, I have a driver, and so when I'm being driven around, I use all that time to read and read and prepare myself for the next interview. So that's the second I prepare. And finally, the third is a negative P. 
I don't procrastinate. What I know I have to do, I do as soon as I remember to do it. I'm also getting on in age, so I tend to forget things. So everything that I must do, I type on my phone or I scribble on some paper that I'm sure I won't lose. And when I have time, when I find even just a tiny bit of space in my calendar to do it, I do it. So that when it's needed, I'm there and it's ready. Excellent. There you go. One last question before we end this. Of your three boys, who is who has learned the three P's the most? <laughs> you don't have to say it's me. Of course I'm not going to say it's you. <laughs> None of them have actually mastered it, as I haven't mastered it myself, uh, because I have not taught them that, because I know that they will learn it for themselves, and they will have their own P's, three P's or three D's or whatever ABC's they have, but I'm hoping that uh, as they grow up and old, they will know what to do, when to do it. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mom. All right. All right.